e evening folks blaster here we're gonna open up quite a bit of the Pokemon stuff today uh, we've got some Mary's Cross, Plasma Storm, Plasma Freeze, Plasma Blast, Rallying Cry, Froakie and Chespin Dex by Ruse Cross being the oldest first 10 each of that and Plasma Storm 11 Plasma Freeze and Plasma Blast they ca the extras there came from training Skyla uh, Full Art um, then you get the Rallying Cry deck this one you can only get online you have to go into the redemption area of the game and type in the full name of any single set for example Plasma Blast, all one word, that every time you enter a set like that, you receive one of these decks. They do change from time to time. Um, it, um, I've got a few of this particular one, because I keep checking and see if they've changed. The Froakie deck from the new X and Y, and the Chessman deck from the new X and Y. Sadly, I couldn't get the Fennekin one at the same time. I have got it since. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the Rangers Cross because it's the oldest of the booster sets. Um, so we'll just open these up one by one and hope for some good things. Very nice open up. We like that, don't we? White Curum EX and a Gliscor that I don't have as well. What's this White Curum do? Dragon Stream. Nice. And Ice Burn. Just got two energy, but. Definitely, definitely burns on 150. It's nice damage there. Was that? That's a good way to start. That was a fantastic start for our opening. Just to pull the X in the very first pack. Other than that, nothing major in the pack. I like the, the Gligor and the Gliscor in the same set, in the same booster. I, I've always been a fan of Gliscor. Um, but we'll just keep going in next. See how the luck continues. Caesar, always good. Spinda, Oshawa, but nothing major. Apart from the boss Farfetch'd. I've, I always do like Farfetch'd because it's my friend's favourite Pokemon. And that is very important to me. Um, Bellossom and the Caesar is my favourite in this pack. Let's have a look at it. Steel Slash. Prevent all damage done to Caesar by Pokemon X or EX, I, I don't know. And Slashing Strike, which, which can only be used every second turn. But that's okay. okay. Nice Steel Pokemon there. Uh, steel don't tend to dominate, but they do do well against Psychic things. Because the resistance to Spin Spinder, Rattata, Frillish, Gothita, Dusclops, Hugh. Wobbuffet, Lopane, and Swoobat. Okay. That Lopane, you get them in the basic deck for um, water in the game for the trainer challenge. Ready to heal 60 from everything, which is not bad, but it doesn't allow a flip, coin flip. And then there's Kick Away, which is like a catcher effect. But you don't get to make the choice your opponent does. So, we've done alright. We've only had pulled the one EX, but we've only opened four packs. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Not much here. An Audino, a Toxic Croak, Whirlipede, a Spurcia City Graham, Rocky Helmet. Not really much there. Ugh. Just tag those off, tag off the new ones, just so that when if I get another one, it doesn't show up as new again. Next, oh nice, that's two out of this. Was it five now? Um, but not bad. Maybe Duskull, Blitzel, Tepig, Frillish, Wartortle, Tau Cat. I like to it. Aspersion City Grim, Grim Jim, sorry, and the Keldeo. The Keldeo has caused me many problems in in matches because of pairing this up with Deluge Blastoise and then just rushing in and doing a high powered secret sword which should be sacred sword I'm sure there was some sort of hoo-ha about religion and using the word sacred 
in cards, you know what they're like. Any reason to complain? Uh, what's next? Thank you. Uh, Voltor, Dwebel, Patrat, Squirtle, Sandshrew, Aspersius at New Gym, Snorlax, Mean Shao, uh, Cryogonol, and another of that same Caesar. Again, we don't need to look at that again, we looked at it last time. But, okay, just keep at it, keep at it, we'll get some more things. Um, Skyla's always good, Venipede, Purloin, Dwebble, Tangela, Charmander, Skyla, again, fantastic, the, the amount you can do with this is so good, Farfetch'd, Azumarill, Lipart, and Embor. Uh, I, that's an alright Iron Boar, but it's not as good as the Inferno Fandango one, which don't think I've got it yet. Okay. Oh, me. Long day at work. Squirtle, Pidov, Psyduck, Ducklet, Gligar again, Great Ball, the Time Map, which can really help. Snorlax, a reverse foil of Gothita, and a Mishorna. Tag off the that again, and what will look. Ah, nice one, an ability that can be used regardless of whether it's asleep or not, and in fact does extra damage while asleep. Retreat cost is a bit heavy for a stage one, but still, that's alright. I'd have to worry about using that to be honest, but. Never mind. Next. I mean, for Krogunk, Wallaby, Daramaka, Chincho, Heracross, Krogunk, Petilil, Mandibuzz, and Belossum. Uh, those of you who are paying proper attention might just notice that my mouse movements are a bit off sync with the speech because I'm overdubbing this because the sound didn't work on the original recording, so I've had to take the video down and overdub. So, oh, that's that's why the mouse movements don't exactly catch on to that. Now we like getting a specs. This is an interesting one that we pull here. Energy search, Ducklet, Venipede, Electabuzz, Gligar, Warthorpe, Buddha, Hernia, Goldfish, and a normal Keldeo. Not as good as the EX, obviously, because EXs are EXs. Um, a spike gold potion to heal a, respect, a very respectful 90 damage. That's up to half. That's at least half of any Pokemon currently in the game, apart from Waylords that you're healing, which can really turn the tide. A turn. You, if you can make that extra turn that you'll get from that gold potion count, then very good. So we like having a gold potion, maybe not the the ace spec a lot of people tend to play, but still not bad at all. Okay, that's the boundary stun, so into Plasma Storm. Let's see what we get. Cubtree, Clefairy, Zubat, Magnemite, Sawaddle, Amoongus, Vanilla, Slazoo, Go for a Lampant and a Vespiquen. Best became being one of the most trollish Pokemon in the entire game. Can only evolve female, yet only one eighth of all of them are female. Patrat, Joltik, Rufflet, Pansier, Swinob, Durant, Monferno, Magneton, Reverse Foil, Trubbish, and a very nice Weezing that I do like. Um, use I do like using Weezing in the Giratina theme deck, but I've got I think it's called Plasma Shadow. Okay, next up. Speaking of Giratina, there it is. But Whismur, Zubat, Riolu, Magnemite, another Riolu, two different Riolus. Durant, Gurdur, Gurmanchal, two different Gur two Oh no, it's two the same Gurdur actually. And you know, one of those Gurdurs is just a reverse foil. So that's quite funny. We got a pack, but we only got eight new cards. Ooh. Joltik, Togepi, Fungus, Scraggy, Ralts, Durant, Donphan, Vanillish, Togepi again, 
and Vinylux. Okay, guys, seriously. <laughs> what is that? Togepi in both reverse and normal in the same pack. And a Vinylux card. 30 plus you get a type 2 energy. Go ahead and get there. Ooh, hello. We're going to get into this Magna Zone when we reach it. But there's Clank, Coventry, Skinny Turk, Rake, Plasma Energy, Energy Skate Rope, Evio Light, Sharpedo, and Magna Zone. Very good, Magna Zone. The reason this Magna Zone is so good is because of its ability dual brains, play two supporters. It, it makes Skyla even better than she already is. Because you can go look for another supporter and then play it straight off the bat, where you couldn't. Where basically, if you put if you play Skyla, you have to plan for your next turn if you're going to play a supporter. So basically, dual brains is very good because just because of its ability to play two supporters a turn. I don't think there's any other card that does that. But if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I'm not an encyclopedia of every card ever, so yep, feel free to correct me on that. But and even Gyrobot, the the effect is not too shabby to to um, basically it's got an escape rope. It's an ability with an escape rope, and to be able to escape rope Magna Zone when it's got. A three retreat cost while doing damage. Very good, very good card. I like Magnus on. I might have to do something based around it. Um, keep going. Oh, pretty pretty things. Zubat, Riolu, Perloin, Lotad, Combi, Plasma Energy, Golbat, Curly, Galvantula, and an Articuno EX card. Nice EX, I think. Is that our first one from, from this set that we pulled today? Blizzard, which. There, and Frost Poison, which gets the bonus for having the plasma energy in that it adds paralysis. So, very, very nice there. The damage totals there are not entirely disrespectful either. And 170 hit points with a weakness to an uncommon type of play and a resistance to a more commonly seen one. Articuno is very, very useful uh, in, in this. So, there we go. That's Articuno EX. So, let's just get moving on. Um, problems lag. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Next, open up. Ooh, right, Trubbish, Togepi, Frillish, Combi, Perloin, Hypnotoxic Laser, Soul Rock, Lydrid, Colrus Machine, and Infernape. What's this Infernape do? Choose one defending Pokemon attack. 30 damage for one colorless, and it stops your opponent using an attack. Some bigger Pokemon with good abilities only have one attack, so Torment can really lock down. Malevolent Fire is very good because it's only two energy to play, and it does 120 damage. Okay, the downside is you have to discard all and get attached to it, but you can retreat it for free next turn, build it up, and that's fine. So you don't really have to worry about the fact that you're losing all your energy. If you just play an energy retrieval or something very similar. Okay, I think I'll do for this card. I mean, we've really gone over everything. Weakness to water, however, water being prevalent in the Keldeo decks can be a bit of a pain for this card. Especially late game with Secret Sword doing obscene damage. Timber Trubbish, Doduo, Rufflet, Chimchar, Amoongus, Magneton, Loudred, Scrafty and Torterra. That Amoongus can be annoying but if, if Astonish goes off. But let's have a look at the Torterra. Guard press for 60, reduce it by 20 next turn. And Rumble Stomp. 
lots and lots of damage potentially. A weakness to fire, a resistance to the common type, and a four retreat. Four retreat being a bit costly, but that said, this is Torterra. It's bulky, always has been. So, yeah. Opening more. Okay, Magnemite, Clink, Litwick, Swinob, Zubat, Team Plasma Grunt, Govantula, Escape Rope, Skitty, and Ludicolo. Rain Dish to heal 20 all the time, which you can get on your opponent's nerves. Uh, how, much, how much some things can heal. And Groovy Dance, which is an ace name for her. How about an attack? It's a Groovy Dance! Groovy Dance from the 70s in the nightclub. You're gonna wonder why it's not wearing its flares if it's doing a, gro a groovy dance. I wonder if Team Flare will get a Ludicolo in the in the XY sets when the Team Flare stuff goes down. It'll be funny. Ooh, another A spec card. So we only got one EX, but that's a mark because we got an A spec here as well. Uh, just go over these. Torterra again, but the dousing machine used to be called the item finder in the really old <coughs> sets. Sorry about that, I'll just die. Um, I'll just discard two cards to play to revive a trainer card. Right, in the plasma freeze, 11 of these. Ooh, right. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Hello! Oh my, says George Takei. <laughs> And that's what would happen if Georgia K was recording this. Oh my. Now I love the Oxus EX. I actually use them um, heavily in, in my main deck. Um, and oh, <laughs> I'm a bit speechless now that I've gotten a full art of him. I really, really can't put into words how much this has made my day really. Um, I mean, everything about this car, the the Oxus, save for maybe the, the common weakness, is a bit meh, but I mean, the Oxus EX, I'm using these anyway, they're very, very good, a very low cost to use some energy cost to do something that can be absolutely devastating in the long run, as long as you use a plasma energy for that colourless, oh, that is a beautiful thing. I don't even care what else I get now. <laughs> that makes up. That makes everything worth it. Um, because if that if that was a real car, if I had that in a real car, that would be worth some serious wonga. But yeah, oh man, happy now. And in the first pack that I opened the plasma freeze as well. Oh, that started off well. Vitata, Dratini, Chincho, Dino. Is it Dino or Dino? I think it's Dino. Uh, because I'm the German for one. Uh, Floatstone. Reverse. Always nice. Uh, no retreat cost. Very good to put that on something that would normally have a very heavy retreat cost. And Glaceon. Free zone. Minus two retreat for every team plasma Pokemon. And AC wind. So things like the Deoxys would have a free retreat cost, which is very good. Plasma freeze again. Ooh, right. <laughs> oh, it's punishing me for getting that full art now. Nothing nothing major here, so well apart from Eevee, because Eevee's always major because Eevee is adorable. And there's a Jolteon as well to go with it. Float zone and Raticate. I'd love to build like a deck based around as much evolution as possible, but I don't know how it would work because obviously only four EVs. Um, you need to have the Rainbow Energy card to do it, but still, it's a thing I'll try one day eventually. I don't know. Nothing, nothing else major apart from the EV stuff in there. Um, Okay. Oh, it's lagging. Up. The button's lagging off again. What not we? There we go. Ooh, 
Ooh, another four. Wow. Now I believe I pulled one of these in a video that didn't make it up um, because of sound, major sound issues. But yeah. Ooh. That's lovely. Ooh. Tornadus EX. 180 hit points colorless. Shuffle your hand at your deck and draw six. Not bad for one energy. No. No damage, but still. N nice way to start the game if you use a lot of your, your cards in your very first. And Jet Blast does 30 more for each plasma energy. Being that this is colourless, you could actually make all of those plasma energy. All four of those could be your four plasma energy for the deck. And that would hit 480 damage, which would kill everything outright. So, yeah. Very nice. Second full art in, in what is that, four packs that we've, that we've done of Plasma Freeze. We've got two full arts. That is very nice. Yamas, Mahita, Tim Paul, Trico, Dratini, Plasma Energy, Staravia, Nidorino, Absol, and Hariyama. And that's Absol is a nice Pokemon. I've always liked Absol. And so has the trading card game. I always seem to like Absol. I, don't, I think it had a Prime, it had a Level X in the, in the Diamond and Pearl Sat era. Um, it, it had Absol G Level X, and I think it had a Prime as well. I could be wrong about that, but um, if I am right, feel free to tell me either way in the comments below. Um, I don't claim to be a mastermind at this of every card ever but you know people telling me things would certainly help so yep keep going and plasma freeze you, you see what I mean about the game always looking absolutely if you even put it on one of the pack nothing major there primary horsey sand dial Venelux Kecnea Shadow Triad Dragonair Croc Rock Rattata, Cacturn. Yeah, now this pack just made me giggle when I actually opened it because there are two separate columns where the top evolves into the bottom. See, here it's Sand Island Croc Rock and here Cacti and Cacturn. Both of those evolve one into the, the from top to bottom. Very good. Very random. Simple things amuse me. <laughs> Cagnia, a Beldum, a Litwick, a Nidoran, a Ponyard, Espeon, Grovile, Lantern, different Ponyard, and a Cofagregus or Cofagregus or however you pronounce that. Uh, I think we'll just take a look at this because it has some funny attacks. Six feet under. Which lets you knock out itself and put three damage counts on your opponent's Pokemon. Which I think it's a funny name, six feet under. Um, and then there's Slap of Misfortune. But, <laughs> I mean, they just had some funny names to this. And Slap of Misfortune is just ultimate troll for, for it because you just basically treat any coin flip as tails in your opponent's next turn. Um, just a side note about Kofi Grigis, in um, X and Y, the arms are a lot more transparent and it actually looks a lot like, if anyone's seen Elf in the Ed, it looks a lot like a, a, a sarcophagus has vectors. Um, the hands look a lot like vectors on the X and Y sprites. Although other than that, just sprites, so whatever they are. The, the graphics for X and Y. But, yeah, just a little bit of trivia about Kofi Grigus for you. Yeah. Nice weakness to dark. But, I mean, it's a dark right. Dark right and stable I can have a field day with that. Both being prevalent decks. Psy Alert and Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball being rather rare in the case of the you apply weakness and resistance to bench Pokemon. There are not a lot of things that do that. Most specifically state that you don't. 
But okay. We're getting near the end of this opening. Uh, anything there? Not really a lot. There's a Getsis. A Dino. A different Dino. Or two different Dinos. Another Eevee. Different Eevee. Eevees are adorable. We like Eevees. It gets this, which seems to just be foil. I did not realize there were foil supporter cards. Uh, so that came as a surprise to me. Eevee, Ponyard, Makita, Horsey, Nidoran, Team Plasma Badge, Lampent, Kikuna, Litwick, and Weavile. The Team Plasma Badge is nice because you can put it on anything and make it into a plasma Pokemon. I should really put one of those into my deck to make Mew into a plasma just so that it gets the bonus for Deoxys. <coughs> Weavile. Now, I love Weavile. It's no secret that Weavile is actually my favourite Pokemon. But I don't think it gets treated very fairly in the trading card game. Um, it never has a, any really, really strong attacks. And it's never had a level X or an EX card. I don't know why, it just seems like no one seems to like Weavile in the trading card game. Um, they make up for it with things like Chromat and Kengar, but still, it would be nice to give Weavile some love. That's true. Um, sorry, we just see us see the off on one there while I was opening up this pack. Uh, there's Bisharp or Bisharp. Does anyone know that one? I think it's Bisharp because it's supposed to be Bishop to go with Pawnee Art, the Pawn. Um, chess related. There. And the last Plasma Freeze. Hey! An A spec. So I think we had some good, good stuff with the with the Plasma Freezes. Two Full Arts and an A spec. If you put it, oh right, okay. Pokemon tool that goes, yeah, I'll take one last prize. <laughs> so, basically, knocking out a Pokemon EX will only yield one prize if that Pokemon EX is on that. A non EX will just say, yeah, you're not getting any prizes. What do you feel about that, eh? Right, the Plasma Blast. Not expecting much from these because there's only three of them. <coughs> but, I've been surprised in the past, so we'll see. Right, there's a little leap there. Not much though. So, there we go. Okay. Throw, Machop, Squirtle, Dredigon, Tynamo, Chatot, Porygon 2, Silver Mirror, Plume Fossil, and Cradle. Silver Mirror caused me a hell of a lot of problems in one fight. But our last booster pack. See how we ending. Uh, well. We can't win them all. <laughs> Tiny Wakang is going to be gone, Drifloon, Duck Litter, so we can energy retrieval, Iris, Octillery, and a Masquerade. Okay, right, that's all the boosters done. Um, I think we got we did well on those, didn't we? I'll go through the 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 decks now, just that we go see. It's just a fire, uh, not fire, uh, water, and colourless deck. Based around noisy Pokemon. Um, you see things like Whismur, Lydred, Palpitoad, and Seismitoad, and Exploud. The whole point of this deck is just to use round as much as possible. The Exploud in here is known for taking four energy to use round but doing more damage. Round wasn't really that viable a deck until Seismitoad and Meloetta EX came out. But yeah, next is Froki, our debut into the XY series. Nice coin there. Um, a bit, one Bidoof. Nobody ever wants more than one Bidoof. Clauncher, two Farfetch's. Always nice. The Froki's, there's, there's your foil Froki as well. Hot Edge. Uh, Frogadiers. Greninja's very nice. Map block, not bad. One hundred forty with a forty for one. An aqua edge eighty for three. No extra effect on the aqua edge as well. So not 
not like game breaking but not too shabby either hammers pokeballs new art on pokeballs switch new art on the switches Tierno which does the same as, as Sharon does um, I'm surprised they haven't pulled the same clauses they did with the Sycamore and um, Junipers as far as that's concerned for those who don't know you're not allowed to play Sycamore and Juniper in the same deck um, so yeah right Bottleby, chest bins mill tank Ooh, that was before mill tank Pansage Snorlax Snubble which gives us our debut into the fairies actually I don't know I quite like the f the, the, the colour on the fairies is quite vibrant so they're not actually too bad let's see this grand roll Headbutt and Dragon's Double Stomp Resistance and Dark which surprised me considering that in the game they t they're entirely immune to Dragon so I was thinking that was where it was going to be Resistance to Dragon there okay and Chess Knot as well which is your basic massive 150 much like Torterra you do extra damage on coin flips potion switch more Tierno it's a fairy energy here so it's nice to see fairy energy meanwhile dragon energy is going when are we going to get that one? never probably and the grass energy of which is nothing new you know so that's everything there um so that's really i think we've got some really good stuff here today i'll definitely be going and fixing up the deck to put um the deoxys into it excuse me while well, my game seems to be having a fit um yeah so what i was going to say stay subscribed uh, or if you're not already subscribed please do because then you'll be able the chance of winning some free cards and then some free cards and some free other stuff in the next so uh, short while um we've got the x and y booster coming out very soon um i've got 50 codes on pre-order for that so i'll be doing a video for that and at that point i'll be giving people a chance to win um the three starter decks one of the three starter decks three winners will win one each um and they're, they're going to be the real decks so you'll have the chance to win those um when pokemon bank is released eventually because we're all waiting ever so patiently aren't we um people will have the opportunity to win one of an as yet undecided number of shiny eevees uh which i have in a pre-owned copy of pokemon black that i got um, in order to be able to transfer so I got a copy of Pokemon Black it had an insane number of shiny Eevees in it so yeah if you want to win one of those details will be forthcoming shortly on how you can do so um, and that not much really else to add here like I said we had good stuff um, follow me on Twitter at BlasterDarkRen leave any comments on any specific things you want me to do um, on either this game or Card Fight Vanguard because as of February 7th that is another game I'm back into playing uh, so I will be doing some more videos about that um, there's some card of the day features I want to be doing on a couple of useful cards and other than that it's all up to you guys what do you want to see um, and if you want um, obviously I'm not just limiting myself to the Pokemon card game I can do so I can do some things about the actual Pokemon video games as well um, but everything everything is up to your good selves uh, I'm here I'm here to entertain you you guys so yep um, 
So if you want to add me as a friend on TCGO, just look for Blaster Dark Red, or there's Red Suzu Um You can add add me, and you can possibly trade uh, or f have a, have a game. But for now, I think I'll be signing off and. Hope you have a really good time playing Pokemon and look forward to sh do sharing more videos in the future. But for now, laters.